Minnesota's making moves a little bit. Cut Dan Bailey. Riley Reef is now gone. Reef saves them $11.75 million against the cap. And they now have around $8.5 million in cap space. Both provided by over the cap. So if those numbers are wrong, blame them, not me. Um, I think Reef was actually a pretty solid player in his time with the Vikings. Uh, and oftentimes kind of received probably mostly unnecessary criticism just during his tenure. And if you look at just the past six years prior to Reef getting into Minnesota from 2011 to 2016, compared to what Reef averaged, Pro Football Focus is where I got all these numbers. Um, so the average season from 2011-2016 for Minnesota's starting left tackle was a 66.8 PFF grade, 8 penalties, and 6.8 sacks. So if you round it up, 7 sacks. And Riley Reef, 70.2 PFF grade. That's a 5% increase, uh, 5 penalties, 37.5% decrease, and averaged 3 sacks allowed, which is a 56% decrease from the 6.8. So, and I've defended Reef a few times in the past on the channel, and I kind of appreciate what he's done for this football team because it was really, really poor tackle play. And then Reef, although not some all pro Hall of Fame, he's not Tyron Smith, he's not Trent Williams, I know. But more than solid player, came in, did his job well, it was fine. And for four years, that's how it was. Solid play in Minnesota. We didn't see that really prior. For six years, aside from one Matt Khalil year, really, in 2012. Aside from that, Reef was the best tackle that this team has had in, like, the past decade. So, it is what it is. From a cap perspective, this had to be done. But, I appreciate what this man did on the football field, even though he wasn't some all-pro player. Um... However, moving forward, should be Ezra Cleveland time at left tackle. Now, he was never a true guard to begin with. That was never a real fit in the first place. Uh, Dozier, who I assume we can all agree is horrendous at this point, um, allowed a pressure on 7.7% on his pass block reps. That is horrible. Ezra, 7.0, so a 7 flat percent. So... Not a guard. He's not a guard. And they don't really have the money to sign a veteran tackle. And you could argue, hey, they have the 14th overall pick. Draft a tackle now. Well, he's still not a guard. So for the offensive line moving forward, it's best to probably try to move Ezra out to left tackle. Hopefully. And fill in the guard spots as you go. Now, so just for once, I'm hoping they do the right thing here on the offensive line because he's not a guard. I don't think he's a guard. I never thought he was a guard. I'm a little worried they view him as a guard, but I don't think his fit is as a guard. So if they try to make him a guard, someone, he might get a second contract somewhere else and he'll become some form of tackle and probably be solid and okay. But as a guard, no, it's not going to work. And I just think that's how that is. So I'd like to know your guys' comments down below. You know, thoughts and stuff, always good. Uh, like and subscribing, super helpful. And until next time, I bid y'all adieu.